I'm Adolfo Bermuda Surtado. I'm from Nicaragua, Central America. I was a lawyer. I practiced uh, many branches of the law. American dream was my Nicaraguan dream. My life was very good in, in, in my country, in my town. In April 2018, Nicaragua was um, in a civil war, but not for the people. It was the government who started the, the civil war. Uh, the government in my country is a communist government. They order uh, to the police and, and uh, to the army to shoot to kill. Children, uh, young women, uh, men, they um, do a letter, a death letter. And I was the number 10. The number 11 was uh, a friend, uh, um, actually an American citizen, um, Mr. Eddie Montes, was an army retirement. And, and uh, he was uh, put in a jail. And, and uh, one of the, uh, these people with AK-47 shot in the back and for maybe three or six hours, uh, Mr. Eddie Monte was um, bleed to death and uh, no one uh, can help him. So I know uh, the Sandinistas are, are bad, are evil, and I decide to escape. I left my kids, my mother and my father, and uh, friends and uh, uh, my church, I'm a Catholic. And, uh, and uh, when I came, I was painting. I was um, in a new job uh, opposite uh, to my uh, career because I was a lawyer and now in Richmond, I was a painting assistant. The working condition in, um, like a painting uh, is a uh, it's terrible because you feel uh, your uh, your feet, your fingers, all your body uh, freezing. Your body is is hurt every day, but you need to work. You need to you need to survive. I'm not in vacation. I, I was here for preserve my life and and uh, earn uh, enough money for. Uh, bring my, my family and, and, and that my family was safe too. Uh, all the money that I received uh, was for saving, for buy uh, a plane ticket for my kids. Almost in Christmas, my, my two kids uh, was with me. Was the most amazing feeling uh, see their little faces again. The love of my life was with me, my kids. I knew uh, Father Jack, an, an amazing, amazing Catholic priest. Uh, he uh, told me about uh, the um, Latino Leadership Institute. And uh, he invited me to, to, to this uh, uh, Course and and uh, for a year and a half, I study and and uh, and was exciting because I learn about the system and I learn uh, um, many things and and one of the most important thing that I learned was uh, that um, we need to be volunteer. And I started working uh, as a volunteer in a beautiful campaign, uh, driving licenses for all. And uh, I learned more about the system and, and was a big opportunity for me. I applied for a new uh, uh, job position, was a contact tracer in uh, Virginia Health Department. And, um, and, and in my new job, I, uh, do more uh, community outreach. I do more um, 
uh, I, I connect the people with different resources and uh, my life uh, changed totally because I was working uh, with, uh, with the people, helping people. Um, and, uh, and, and, and a terrible moment because it was the COVID. And, um, and then I, I was in another position and that for me was uh, a gift because I start uh, this job to helping one by one to, to uh, the people uh, who suffer uh, with COVID. And, and, and was, uh, was nice, was a, a lovely work. And I'm still working in, uh, in that position. And it's not just a, 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 a work, it's a, it's a necessity to help. Many um, American citizens think that we came here to stole their jobs or uh, get money from the budget and, uh, and uh, as an, an, an immigrant or, um, but it's not true. Be a, a, a positive difference in, in your community is, is a, a good way to, to say uh, thank you uh, United States for, uh, uh, for, for get me, for, for protect me. I felt discrimination, but not for American citizen, not for African American or ca Caucasian. I receive discrimination from my Latin American brothers. I remember when, uh, one time I was uh, um, in a in a um, in the mall, and and one Hispanic uh, told me. Hey, Vina, go home. It was in Spanish. So, uh, that was terrible. Other uh, example, when an Hispanic refused to, to star, um, to, to speak uh, 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 your language, Spanish, and you know that this person is Hispanic, and, and then uh, these people refuse to, to talk with you. It, it's an awful feeling. It's a terrible feeling. We are hard worker. We have in this country many scientists, doctors, nurses, architects, lawyers. They don't have the opportunity to, to get immigration documents. It's almost impossible. It's not impossible, but it's almost impossible. I think that um, we here for um, contribute with this great nation. I need to educate my kids, uh, watch my kids uh, grow, be uh, good men, good uh, young men. But for me, um, I need to study. I need to, to uh, learn more that, uh, because uh, I think that uh, we have um, a lot to do for, not just for the um, undocumented uh, Hispanic. We need to do a lot for the people who suffer with uh, mental health, with um, any kind of um, addictions or, or um, uh, lack of interest for do things. So uh, I think that um, I see my, my, my future uh, working hard for my community uh, with uh, different organizations, uh, bring more and more resources for our people.